Yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, the Ninja Rear here. Am I recording, by the way? Just want to make sure I am. I am good. Okay. Eh, be sure to rate the video, comment, subscribe, click on the bell, join the squad, boys, so I'm doing podcasts. I already know the drill. Anyways, welcome, everyone. I've done this for way too long, anyway. So, anyways. Yeah, frame rates are good. Yeah. Wait, what about the frame rates? Yeah, frame rates are working good. I like how finally we're in this, like, whole new scenario for once. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> um... Oh. Oh, that's right, yeah, we gotta go. Woo, woo. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Uh, it should be right here. Yep. Hey Thanks. See ya. See ya. More memories to be discovered. Again, you don't really get to do anything besides take pictures. Again, yeah, I know a lot of big crap I had there too. But it is what it is. It's fine. I mean, hey, I guess if you want to get through this in a nutshell, I guess that's one thing to look at it, but yeah. Oh, graphically, this is really moving very, very well. Wow. <clears throat> I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Yeah, pretty much you could. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now. Everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. The evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view you get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about. It. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually. The time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, we just can't stand the pain of being alone? But look at everyone around us. They've chosen their partners out of a large crowd, haven't they? So it's not about loneliness. They genuinely want to be with each other, right? I think I kind of get it. Oops, sorry. Conversation.
vision got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? The wind is chilly out here by the water, but we should probably head back. I don't want to get in the way of all the couples.
coyote. You can head back to the room and get ready.
Sorry about that, lads. I'm back. Um, hold on one sec. What was I supposed to do again? Oh, we have 13 more days to the new full moon. What was I supposed to do again? Oh, yeah, the hot spring. Right, I'm a fucking idiot. In the hot spring... Wait, fuck me. In, God damn it. In the hot spring, like, down here or some shit like that? I think so, right? What is this? Oh, that's the courtyard. Oh, here's hot spring. Here it is. This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Oh, they actually voiced this. Holy shit. It seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. Mm, kind of make a point. Why the fuck is Chumpy, though? Unless, oh, there the fuck is. You can head back to the room and get ready. Oh, okay. We gotta go to my room then. Alright. So we gotta go to my room. My room should be the very last one, I believe. Yeah, there we go. I'm the fucking idiot. There we go. Now we got it. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happened, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? Uh, yeah. I guess you could say that. An accident for sure. <laughs> An accident for sure. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? I mean... Duh, we are... What time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryojikun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. Uh, <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. What are we going to do? I mean, it's probably just another guy. True. Could be. Don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Yeah. Wow. This hot spring is huge. Wait, did they really? Oh my god. Oh. Well, why are they going their bathing suits? Wait, why are they in their bathing suits? I thought they were going to be naked. The fuck? Yukari san and Fuka san. Oh, this is my lucky little one. Shut up, you dumbass. They'll hear you. Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Yeah. Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. But you're in your fucking bathing suits, bro. Who the fuck cares? It's it, it's like boxers, man. Y'all probably... It's like fucking boxers. It's like boxers. Exactly, bro. It's like boxers. Who the fuck cares? If you were naked, okay, yes. That's one thing. But, bro, what if they're in their bathing suits too? You don't know that. You know that? That's true. Uh, executed. Executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? Crap, y'all busted. Ghost. Oh, pfft. wow. Um, okay. Wow, really? Okay. But that's one way of putting it. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. Well, it's a big ass hot spring. Y'all probably can't even see it. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fukusan's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay! Yeah, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? No, not a steam. There's no way. Y'all will be fucking cooked. 
Uh, by the rocks, maybe? Because the steam would be, like, impossible. Yeah. Hey, not that way. Is this rock formation natural? Hey, is something hiding in the rock shadows? What rock shadows? Hide, you You should have hidden the ocean! Should have hidden the ocean. Well, okay, fine. Maybe the ocean should have... I mean, the hot spring water. God damn it, but... Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Unless, wait, this is the censored version or something. It's just a misunderstanding. Silence. Consider yourselves executed. It was nice knowing you. Wow. Well, isn't there that time to go anyway or something like that? I think they have to, like, leave the hot spring, I think. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better hmm. make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Oh, shut up, bitch. Shut up, bitch! Yeah, shut your fucking mouth, bitch. You don't know what us, us boys... I'm never gonna forget Kyoto. Not like I could, even if I wanted to. Kidding about the whole execution thing. Just trying to forget about it. Crap, here they come. Ladies? Yeah, she already, he already got your your dukes, bro. You already got that. I mean, you guys were covered in towels. Who gives a shit? Exactly. It's not like you guys were definitely going to be naked in there, so that's all good. But all you had to say was this misunderstanding. You forgot about the time, that's all. Unless they just were stupid and they read the sign. Like, oh, well, the girls are still here, so oh, I wonder. Wait, okay. wow, <laughs> damn, bro. Hell, fuck you. We ain't playing no games today. I wonder if we, oh, wait. Hi. Oh, oh, Fuka! Oh, I'm so sorry. Look again. It was a miss, bro, dude. Or right, whatever. Fuck it. You know what? I have a girlfriend anyway. Fuck y'all, bitch. <laughs> Fuck y'all, bitches. I don't even care. Alright, let's see. Is the same. Damn, bro. Damn. Just forget about it, bro. Damn. Uh. Uh. Let's give Akamaru some love. Let's let's do that. L let's do that. Let's do that. Let's give Akamaru some uh, love here. Like Koromaru's really happy. Koromaru. You guys have been gone for yeah, a you know what? Yeah. Let the dog goose see us. It's, it's all good. You guys must have had a lot of fun on the trip. You've all been talking about it nonstop when we hang out in the lounge. Koromaru and I were the only ones left behind at the dorm. It was really quiet during that time. I can't remember the last time I spent so many nights without hearing a peep. I stayed up late watching TV with Koromaru in the lounge. Then I'd doze off for a while. But I was actually so quiet. I couldn't sleep right. What's the matter? I think there's something he wants to give you, Senpai. Oh, cute. <laughs> I feel like I've been able to tell what Koromaru's thinking lately. 
It's probably because we spent so much time alone together these past few days. Aww. Yeah, he's always the good boy, though. Anyways. Uh, 11 more days. We gotta see how different it's going. Well, I'm, the story is gonna advance forward, so we should be fine. Ah, we don't need to hear this shit. Let's just... Whatever. We don't need to hear that shit. Morning, probably about lectures, get right back from the trip. You good? Okay. Okay, I thought it was gonna be something like completely new. Okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna be something completely new we had to like hear about, but no, never mind. <sighs> Let's see. Thank God it's something normal. Okay, what do you have to say? Damn. You know what? I'm gonna take your word on that. Let's walk home together. Uh, yeah. Saturday? Not really interesting. Again, who the fuck has school on a Saturday? Is this how Japan rolls with that? They have schools on Saturdays? That should be a crime illegal. That should just be extremely illegal. Like, the fuck? Who the hell has school on a Saturday? In order where we live at, I'll get out of it later. The main stream fun says I'm uh, I don't know what savings we got here, but, uh, what is this gonna be about? Oh, okay. Wait, isn't it, whatchamacallit, oh wait, no, it's not that one. Yeah. Um. Huh? Maybe. Well, you can't work, 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 work today, so... Uh, probably. Oh. Um. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Huh? There are white spots on the leaves. It, it's been a while. We haven't done anything here in a while. I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? <laughs> You're right. This is exactly what I did all that reading for. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. If we take care of it now, it should be all right. We just need to cut off the white parts and... <gasps> That's right! Vinegar! It said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected area. I'll go get some from downstairs. I think that's about everything we can do. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thank you for today. I, I'm still a little worried, but please let me help out again sometime. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, he's alive! Oh shit, he didn't die! Oh shit, he's alive! See you once again. <clears throat> Jim, the instruments, if you will. Don't give her that shit, bro. She doesn't need the drugs anymore. She don't need that shit no more. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. <sighs> now there's nothing in the world keeping you here yet. Kaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. 
Oh shit. You need only fear. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close. I've suffered every single day. And now I'm afraid to death. Hey, Yori, hurry it up. Medea, let's go. Fuck, no, she's gonna go with them. Well, Junpei's gonna be pissed. Well, Junpei's gonna not be happy about this. Well, that's gonna suck. Yeah, let's just do this. I still have, like, some money left over, but I'm gonna wait until we get, like, a lot more. I have a feeling that we probably are not gonna do any bosses for, like, a while, so... We're gonna see what's gonna happen with the full moon, though. Yeah. We got plenty of stuff to deal with, so I think we should be good, so I'm gonna save up a lot more money. Uh, anything new here? Probably for, like, the plants and stuff. Oh, uh, coffee, okay. If it's the same old thing, we'll just, like, get over... Alright. Is it the same old thing from before? <clears throat> Sometimes adding milk and sugar at night. Wait, I think we did this already before. Oh yeah, we we did that too. Yeah, all right, we did this already. Okay, we were. Oh no, what's happening? Shit. Okay, now what the fuck's going on? Wait, huh? Sorry to wake you. Hey yo, hey yo, what the fuck? I'm not sure how to say this. Hey yo, what the fuck? Hey yo, what the fuck? Okay, what? It's only ten more days. What the hell? What's going on now? Going on? I want to know that too. What? <laughs> oh shit! What is this? Uh oh. Oh. Tega. Yep. Strega. They're still alive. How's that possible? How's that possible? Hey, watch your mouth, kid. <laughs> it's like, hey, kid, watch your mouth. You're not old enough to curse, kiddo. Oh, jeez. Can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Chidori! Oh, shit. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! <laughs> What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori! Oh. Transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <laughs> Shit. Jumbe gonna be pissed. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're gonna select teams. Uh, we don't have Junpei, unfortunately. Um, damn. So it looks like we got. Should we send Dogu? Fuck it. We haven't used Dogu in a while. Um, uh, let's give Konohamaru. Uh, let's go together. 
party's already full. Probably Agus. That again, Konohamaru hasn't gotten stronger in a while, so if not, we can use the current table. We'll see. So we'll give Konohamaru. Uh. No, we haven't used Mitsuri in a good while. Might as well. Yeah. That should work. Or if not, we can always switch it. That should work. And this time, we'll use Kin. We'll get rid of probably Sonata. Get rid of him. Alright, this should be a pretty much good team. We'll try it. Actually, no. Before we do that, let's save it. There we go. Save. What time is it now? Shit, I'm just going to time real quick. 1.13? Alright, that's not that bad. Yeah. Yes. Hey, isn't that Tartarus? Chidori! What's going on? Talk to me. <laughs> Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart. And I've done a lot of stupid things. But this... This is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Junpei-kun, look out! Fuck! Hey, that was close. We could have killed someone there. That's the point. That's the point. Yori. Why? Get back, Junpei. Talking won't solve anything now. It's too dangerous. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun, but please, just back up! Back away from everything and you'll all be... Medea. Oh, this is a new song! Oh shit, new battle theme. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. What where are you aiming? Oh shit. Nope. Oh, we all got a fighter. Oh shit. Uh Don't know if Darnus is gonna work though. I have a feeling that's gonna fuck up a miss. Oh okay, it kinda worked. Oh. Medium almighty damage. Oh, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see how this works. Oh, let's try this one. Oh, maybe. That seems pretty good. So, maybe. Let's try... Uh... Deals heavy ice damage. Okay, let's go with that. Keep it together. Maybe because he's dark, maybe. Maybe like some light. No. The Kyle was right. You're all just a nuisance. Get ready. Maybe we should have used our other team, maybe, because I think they can handle it more. Usually I don't like to use HP moves, but it's really heavy, so. What's the plan here? I'll show you. Heavy ice damage. <laughs> uh, if it does heavy damage, we're fine. But I really think we should definitely give a hundred for all of them. Yes. Yeah, I think that'll definitely be the right move. Yeah. It's nothing compared to the suffering I'm feeling inside. Wow, really? This Your pain is not greater than my pain! Lol. Oh, shit. Uh? So instead, I'll go with... Heavy Dark. Oh, wait, did she heal herself? A little bit, yes, yeah, she did. Wow, that's some booty. Kohamaru's confused. 
I may have something with that. And now? Here's the heavy damage. I'm looking for heavy damage attacks. There we go. Light sort of worked. Ah. Okay, so it's gonna be one of those fights, then. It's probably gonna be one of those. No, mine is Junbei, and we couldn't add him. So we're about to die. Oh, come on. I don't know about all that lies, probably just us. Still confused, huh? Um. There's. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have some of that. However, good. Stop peeling yourself. Aww. Oh, so it's gonna be one of those fights. Okay. Just keep healing, yeah, because you might do like every damage. I told you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, Please. motherfucker. <laughs> Tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most Being alone? Okay, what is it? Attachment. Oh, attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life. Everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei? You brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Shidori. That's sense. Shit. What is it? Sense, huh? The other sense, it's those two. I figured that. How did they? How are they even alive? You just don't know when to give up. <sighs> well, looks like we could. Well, that. I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it, Chidori. I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking goat! Yo, damn. I know goats. <laughs> it simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. How was that? Say I was chosen. Oh. That's it. I'm not letting you do this to her anymore. With my life. Bro, no, don't tell me he's gonna fucking die. Holy shit, no. Come with me. Don't stay with these guys. Hmm. Nope, it's like, nah. Hey, <coughs> nope, pay the price. You betrayed him. Huh? Oh, he shot Jumpe. Jumpe! Oh, sh oh, shit. Oh, fuck. No, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He probably needs to go to the hospital. That's all. Huh? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh-huh. I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I've never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I I realized what I wanted. To be loved. What's that? To be loved. To be loved. I want to be with you, Junpei. 
forever. Oh, oh my god. Um, uh, I, I want to be with you too. Oh. And it breaks my heart. Fuck, she's gonna, she's gonna die. I gained my power. I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. You're... Shit, she was gonna That's die. Right. This is for the best. You can't die here, Junbei. Me? Die? What? Oh, what, what, whoa, what the, hey, yo, what the, um, what the, what the sigma, oh, no, why is the doggy go, oh, now when a dog, it looks like that, I can't, ah, oh, that breaks my heart, damn, the healing technique, but she's probably gonna die, though, but that means her life is gonna be, but what about Strega? She can die. Her, yep, her life. Yep. Called it. Called it. Yeah, she's gonna die. Fuck, dude. Fuck. That sucked. That sucked. Damn. Oh my god, see, there was a way to bring her back, bro. Oh my god, no. What are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. Don't worry. Go on all that. I will do that like soon, but probably on my own I'll do that. I got you back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. Shit. 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 Fuck. No. 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 Oh, yeah. the fucking Sparking Zero thing. Right. I gotta watch that too, basically. We're gonna do some gaming today and then we're gonna watch that. No, dude. <sighs> Damn, that's rough, buddy. Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Meaningless? So everybody, man. Everyone's getting their development now. Shit, here we go. Oh, now he's got his awakening here. Oh, because he gotta get their awakenings. Yeah, this arc actually starts the awakening thing, yeah. Oh shit, here we go. Don't tell me we gotta fight them. Oh, hey, take it easy. You won't get away with that. Junpei. My, 
That was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Takaya, don't! Don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on it. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. Exactly, bro. Since you have yeah. no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. Assholes. She entrusted you with this life. Don't just throw it away. Oh yeah, yeah. So I think that's the last person to awaken their persona. Right? Their their true awakening. Yeah. Too late. I don't know about her. maybe for Ka too. Maybe her probably. I... Yeah, she did too. She did too. So I think now they're definitely. Gonna... Yeah, I think his too. Yeah. One night, I mean, so we had a big. Oh, Labor Thanksgiving Day. Dead ass, he celebrated that in Japan? I didn't only do that. Again, I guess I learned something new every day, I guess. Anyways, uh, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for now, because holy shit. Wow, holy damn. Okay. I'm looking at the time right now. Um, yeah, BRB. Because I am going to be eating some lunch and stuff. And I have some more stuff to do. But I'm definitely taking a break from that for now. Whoa. Like, Jesus. Oh, I am still recording. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot to stop the recording thing. All right. Um, yeah, BRB. Okay. And we have returned. off my pants. What? Oh yeah, that's how we have a day off. I forgot. I was like, wait, today's Monday though. Well, you know what that means. Gonna be tabula. Oh. If any. I don't know. What's like it? Oh yeah, we do. Yay. Some motherfucking money. Some motherfucking money. Bitches. Making that money. Paying off student loans. I mean, what? <laughs> Jeez. Alright. The fuck again? Bro. Oh, what? Career experience people will take place over the next four. Oh. Oh, they explained it. It's like a career theme above. Alright. Afternoon. Hedgehog stew in the afternoon. Uh, the we get all your Good morning. Oh, we do. Everyone who's in the internship program, please follow me to the back entrance. We'll provide you all with uniforms. Once everybody's dressed, we'll get to work. Will they pay me for this shit? When you're done there, could I ask you to take the trash out? Wow. Go take shit on the floor. Uh huh. Oh, hey, uh, morning. You uh, look good in that uniform. Forgot you chose this place too. Well. You know, just psyching myself up to prepare for the internship. I mean, being on time is like the bare minimum job requirement, right? Guess my prospects are looking pretty grim. I overslept like hell. Uh... Oh, damn it. Oh, I really screwed this one up. Coming in late on my first day, they're gonna be so pissed. I know a guy who works here. He said the manager's a real hard ass. Man, I really don't want to go in now. 
What do I do? You'll come apologize with me? Dude, you're the best, man. No, 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 wait. Even if you back me up, I can't just tell them I overslept. Wait a minute. I could just pretend I was here all along. Put on a uniform and stroll in like nothing happened. I'll just say my stomach wasn't feeling so good, and I was in the bathroom this whole time. So, uh... Please, do me a solid. Grab me one of those uniforms and bring it out here. I'll treat you to any food you want. You can look at my homework, so please... You've got to help me. Just hop on in there and grab it real quick. If you hide it under your shirt, nobody will... Oh, there you are. Working hard. Seriously? Why do I get stuck having to supervise two classes worth of students? I'm suddenly the young and spry teacher when it's convenient. Sorry. I shouldn't be complaining to students. In any case, it looks like you two are doing just... Uh... Hey, Tomo Chica... Why are you still dressed like that? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Well, uh, you see, I may have slightly overslept. Are you kidding me? How many times did I tell you all to be here not a minute late? Jeez. First someone skipping out, and now this? Why does it always have to be my class? What? Somebody skipped out? Well, that's just terrible. Talk about a failure of a human being. So, who was it? Huh? Don't you grin at me like you found a friend. More importantly, I sure hope you called to let them know you were going to be late. Uh, well, you see, I guess my schedule just didn't line up, so... Always call first when you're running late. It's common sense. Ugh. I'm definitely getting a talking to later. You're going to go apologize. Right now. Now? I, I need to gather my thoughts first, and, um... And what exactly do you mean by that? You're not trying to find some way of getting out of this, are you? Uh... Are you even aware of all the trouble you could have caused? You left the team short-staffed. The manager's probably worried. If this were a real job, you'd be fired on the spot. Now, go in there and apologize. Be ready to accept whatever punishment you get. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I'm already pretty late as it is, and it is all my fault. If it makes you this upset, you shouldn't have been late in the first place. Remember, when you apologize, try to explain how you'll improve for next time. It reflects on you better. And no excuses. Make sure you really mean it. You got that? Makes sense. Well, here I go. See you later. <sighs> Guess I should go put in an apology from my side as well. Oh, by the way, have you heard anything from Iori? I see. Uh, the very least he could do is call out or something. Oh well. You should get back to work. Anyway, I'll be going now. Put on a big smile and show them how much you love working service jobs. Wow. Bitch! Honestly, yo, fuck you. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. No. Bitch, I'm in fucking retail. Are you shitting my nutsack right- Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Did we just skip a day? Bro, did we just skip a- Wait, hold the fucking phone. Did we oh, skip a couple days? Or am I just, like, cross-eyed for some reason? We, like, skipped a couple days. The fuck? Hey. Oh, you're looking pretty good. I would have thought you'd been working here for years. Huh. <sighs> Sounds like my life. I mean, what? I mean, just what are you doing here? What are you doing here, buddy? Well, my internship ended a little early. I was getting hungry, so I thought I'd stop by. 
looks like you're doing all right. Oh, it's nothing, really. If you don't mind, uh, could we talk for a bit when you're done? Hey, manager says to take your break. Wait, what? Mochizuki's here? Well, I see you chose this place, too. Well, my internship ended a little early, so... So what? You came here to rub it in my face? You better not start picking up chicks in here. You are literally a chick magnet, you know that? A sworn enemy. Oh, now that you're here, I'd actually like to get your opinion, too, Tomochika-kun. About what? Lay it on me. We got time. told me to take a break too come on this is our chance to chill I don't even think about wiping tables <laughs> you two get along pretty well huh I guess I'll go order something you guys go ahead and find a seat hold on the manager hooked me up with some nuggets let me go grab them not such a bad person once you get to know each other just kind of intimidating at first I think this should be enough for the three of us. Nice, you know your junk <coughs> food. Now this is what being a high schooler is all about. <coughs> so, you wanted to talk about something? <sighs> well, it's about Junpei-kun. Yori? Aren't you guys doing the same internship? Yeah, we were supposed to, but he didn't show up. Until today, that is. I finally saw him, so we talked for a bit. Did something happen to him? Hmm. He does look happy on the surface, but it feels like he's forcing himself. I can see a hint of sadness when I look into his eyes. You know, Mochizuki, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Huh? Oh. Sorry, <laughs> why? You're that good looking, but you still watch out for your bros? You're too perfect. What are we even supposed to do about this guy? Anyway, I don't know what's up, but I guess even Iori's not immune to getting bummed out sometimes. Guess that shouldn't be surprising. No one ever said being a teenager was easy. Let's give him some space, yeah? He's got this guy living in the same dorm. That's a recipe for recovery for sure. He helped me a lot, too. I'd probably still be moping around if it wasn't for him. So don't worry. I'm sure Iori will bounce back in no time. Yeah. Well, nothing more to do but take him to karaoke sometime. I'll let him know you were worried about him. Thanks, Tomochika-kun. Oh, crap, the time. Yeah, I gotta get back to work. I didn't even get to eat any of this. It's up to you now, Mochizuki. <laughs> I don't think I can eat this much. Uh, guess I'll go ask for a to-go box at the register. He's probably right. I'm sure Junpei-kun will be back to his cheerful self again soon. Especially with you around. You're his best friend, right? <laughs> I know I'm the one who asked, but... I feel a little awkward hearing that. I have to admit... I'm a little jealous. I never really had someone like that before. <laughs> before? But what about now? Oh, uh, sorry. Don't mind me. Seeing Junpei-kun like that had me worried about you as well. I guess you're doing just fine. It's just... <sighs> I don't like it. Seeing you... Seeing my friends in pain. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag this on so long. See you later. Good luck on the rest of your shift.
get in my pants. Let's do it real fast. Mm. Oh, wait, it's Friday. Wait, do I have any money to save up? No, I know. <laughs> well, I guess I can't do that anymore. Well, maybe I still can. Oh, well, I should be used to it. Let's see, Kawamri, you want some brushies? I'll give you some brushies. Yeah, we got you some brushies. Oh, you found some for me. Good boy. Junpei. I know. So what do you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. <laughs> what the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? It's a detailed portrait of Junpei-san. Chidori. <laughs> Junpei. Fuck. Aww, aww, come on, man. it's okay. <laughs> It's like she's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei-kun. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the dark hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but... Just know I'll be counting on you. Damn, holy shit. Okay. Oh, okay. These nuts. 
just gonna go right to bed because that was just uh yeah better off to do that <laughs> better off doing that because i'd rather just go rest and fucking pretend this did not happen no well no i no actually no i'm kidding like you know what i mean like i'd rather just move along and just sleep it all away Oh, that's right. No school today. Why is it always the same one to repeat? That's insane. Well, two more days. Oh shit. So, in this section. Okay. Well, the 
if we were all like you, we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, there you swining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally flows over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why. But I never want to leave your side. She loves I want him, to don't protect you? you at all costs. To be there for you always. Oh, I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. Ah. Uh, uh. uh, well, I guess I'm not sure what you mean by that. But anyways. Oh yeah, we know what we're doing. We know what we're motherfucking doing. We're gonna make me some motherfucking bugs, baby. Of course we are. Yeah. Almost over, and the decade too. Cause we're gonna go to 2010. That's crazy. I want to see you. Please come for the music room. Too. Thanks for coming. Wow. How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So... I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. Sounds like the one with the Limp Biscuit track some significant other. Anyways. <clears throat> I guess I wanted you to hear this song. 
when I saw those couples in Phil Cops form, when I visited... Hank, why do you gotta ruin the moment, bro? <laughs> that's what it really means it's supposed to, to be, like, someone. serious moment. Overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? Oh, shit. I don't really get it myself, but I... Oh. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? Hmm. Looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird, and there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about, but you, you've adapted to it somehow. Too well for a human. I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. 
dangerous. You are my enemy. Your enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with the full moon. It was a long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who am I? Who are you? I am Igus, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? Oh, sure, I remember. The incarnation. I know exactly who and what I am. Palladius! Don't be foolish, I guess. You can't win. I'm even stronger than before. The machine is created to serve a specific purpose. Mm. Destroy you. That is my only reason for existing. She's gonna gain a new power, definitely for sure. She has to gain a new power. going on? Right. We're not certain of anything yet, but we can't find Igus. What? Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense the persona, but I lost Igus right after that. 
You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. Everything. I remember who I am, who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? Wait, what are you doing here? I guess... What is going on? It's all my fault. You did this? Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out, I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the appraiser, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The appraiser? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Yes. As for the appraiser, it draws the maternal being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the appraiser? That's you? That's right. This maternal being, what is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igus took me down. And I return the favor. I guess this for real, Ryoji. For reals? Oh my God! Don't even go there. So out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him, and by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean? Yep. That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. But how? And when his persona awakened, the twelve shadows did as well, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser, and you were inside of him. Who the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? all my fault I'm sorry but there's more I need to tell you Ryoji-kun he's completely worn out let's let him rest for now Igus needs us too we'll pick up where we left off after that Not another twenty eight more days. He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right, I'll see you then. Damn you, Rio 
energy. <laughs> Looks like we're all here. Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. The hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of Shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that we'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Or fall? But there's still a way to stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? Hmm. The fall has already came and went. The fuck you mean? No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'll be so Wait. When will it happen? I don't think you'll live to see next spring. Fuck. That's barely any time at all. <laughs> what are you guys freaking out about? Nix, Nix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. We haven't given lost a single fight yet, have we? You can't win. When you're up against Nix, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable. Like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows. But now, I have a human form. So I can talk with you. Laugh with you. Cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him. And because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nix's arrival is unavoidable now. But you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. Oh. If the appraiser disappears... All recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. There'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives, and by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Ryoji kun If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is, with no hope for salvation. You'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. I don't want to put you through something like that. I know. I don't want my memories to be.
to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? You don't do this. All that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Hey! Ryoji, wait! Stop, Shinpei-kun! I felt Ryoji-kun's presence vanish just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. Ryoji-kun. I guess... he'll be back. Now... I'm just gonna go straight to bed with that one. Not IRL. Talking about the game. Lol. <laughs> Talking about the game, obviously, guys. So let's see. Maybe once we actually find a way to go back to Tartarus or something like that, then maybe then we'll do a little bit of that. Then that will probably be the end of the episode. And that will be probably the end of it. So, we got all the way to fucking New Year's for that? That's crazy, son. Nobody's in the mood for anything, I guess. Yeah, why not? That's the only we go, I guess. Let's see the sales real quick. Uh huh. No. There's a sale today. Buy whatever you need.
once. Changed your mind? You got everything you need? Come again, yeah? to blades you've really got to take good care of them otherwise they're just useless metal sticks
find yourself torn between choices. Just try to do what you think is right. That's all I can say. Seeing you. And then we go with that.
Yeah, I was on there. Okay, that was easy. That I actually knew, chat. I knew about that one. I was on there, yes. Alright. Know what time it is. What kind of. Jesus, Hank. My God. Not again, it is. Oh, actually, it's on. Um Okay, so if it's like 9 or 9.30, that's fine. I think that's uh, going to be enough for that.
text message. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent... Yes! Party. Fucking it's finally! Let's off. go! Final oh, fucking Lee! Yes! Alright, after this, we're gonna do whatever there. I think that's that we're, we're definitely stopping this for this episode. Holy shit, fucking mm -hmm. fun. Everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? Be okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So, how about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. Have you made up your mind, Hinata-san? No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but that means we have to take a life. Not to mention we die no matter what we do. Then, do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? Me? Um, that's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? <laughs> What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... This is death we're talking about here! Of course I'm scared! And here you all are, chatting it up like a goddamn picnic! It's the thing is, we're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Okay. This whole thing is your fault! Bro! Fuck you! Inside you and didn't even know it! You raised it, damn it! If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened! Junpei! Exactly, bro! Wow! You're supposed to be special, right? Do something about it! Stop it, Junpei. It's not his fault. And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it. God damn it, I know! It's just... It doesn't matter how many times I tell myself... I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. You're all scared. I'm scared, too. Me, too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. I can't stop Sheik. Same here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukitan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. I don't think any of us can blame you right now, Junpei. So don't worry about it. Right? I'm sorry. I knew the truth deep down. Sorry for being a dick. All right. 
Let's put a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives until then. We have some time, so let's consider our options while we still can. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go! Finally! Jesus Christ! Let's get this show on the fucking road. I want to get stronger, damn it, so we can wolf, uh, goddess ass. Or just a goddess. Oh, yeah. What? Taro appears to have a special little guest today. For me, Jaws been into a minute. Oh, wait, if it's that, then I have to go be a bit. Now, that'll be favorite. Oh, okay. Should we don't really have to. Okay. So we don't really have to do that then. Beautiful. Alright. Alright. This is where we're definitely going to stop it. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. Sorry we didn't really do enough, like, gaming, like, actual battling in Tartarus. But we definitely will go to the new path. The next episode, we're going to the new path. We're going to try and see what's going on. And yeah. We're going to see exactly how much stronger we're going to get, and what floor we're at, too. We're just about to reach the 200th floor, too. So we're definitely halfway through. We're just about to finally get to the end all me when it comes to this game. So, yeah. It's going to be crazy. Kind of reminds me of, like, Majora's Mask kind of. You only have a certain time to save the world and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyway, this is basically it. So, thank you all for joining me. Lots of crazy drama, but holy fuck, man. What a way to end things off there, huh? Anyways, yeah, that's basically it. So join us in the next episode as we train up in the world of Tartarus, getting up some more floors, and seeing how what this Nyx goddess is all about. Until then, thank you all so, so much uh, for joining us once again. I will see you all for the next episode. So until then, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe and healthy. Do this right crazy times. And then we might get crazy. Have a good night, good morning, good afternoon. Where you guys are at. Peace, fuck out. Peace, all love, chain, grease, and the sky is light. Remember, give my fans to give us a possible time to burn our dread. Bye-bye.